Hi everybody, got my good friend Ian Fraser in town from Modern Golf up in Toronto, Canada. And as you know, I love to learn, I love to hit up people with knowledge so that they can share their knowledge with me. And, and Ian's tremendous with club fitting and shafts. Every year brings a new crop of equipment and the latest and greatest. And I said to Ian, Ian, can you share with my readers a little bit about what the latest and greatest shafts are? And we, he's Got a handful of shots right here. He wants to take you through. Listen in. Absolutely. Thank you, Andrew. Um, three, three of the, the kind of latest shots uh, to to hit our shelves uh, at Modern Golf are possibly three that you, you you've not seen before. Um, first one I'm going to start with is a product by UST. It's called the Atis for you. Um, you know, Atis has been uh, a range of shafts very, very much based towards the guy who's looking to hit it high with launch, but keep it low with spin. Um, so, you know, and they've been very successful at doing so. Um, and to, to find that the kind of next generation artists, um, UST made a, a really interesting, a really interesting, you know, kind of breakdown as to, to what, what section of the shaft matters most. Is it tip? Is it mid? Is it the butt section? Well, obviously all three matter an awful lot, but they, they ran a test where they, they significantly weakened each section, you know, tip, mid, butt, and, and the, the results were, you know, conclusive as to, you know, which, which section of the shaft mattered most to them, and that was, that was the mid section of the, the shaft. Um, they felt that by strengthening the mid section of the shaft, they were able to uh, produce uh, more ball speed and more consistency from the uh, from the golfer, mainly down to the shaft's consistency, the shaft ability to deliver the club head uh, into the ball. So, you know, really, really great shaft for us this year. Modern Golf we've been working with an awful lot with our guys, and, and they're absolutely loving the results. So, um, really, really good stuff there. Give that one a try. Another shaft which is new for 2013 uh, is the, the Graphite Design, the BB series, the Blowing Bullet. Um, graphite Design kind of made this as a, this was a prototype for Rio Ishikawa. Uh, Rio we played the uh, Graphite Design DI, the, the popular orange and white version. Um, and he, he began to spin it a little bit and launch it a little bit too much. So the guys at Graphite Design had to come up with a, a solution for him. And, and that was for him, they, they had to, again, you know, similar to what we were just talking about with the Atis, they had to significantly beef up the midsection of the shaft so they would produce a little less dynamic loft and uh, therefore produce a little less uh, launch and spin. And for us, I would say, you know, I hate to be biased and we try not to be, but, you know, this shaft for me gets significant results uh, with, our, with our clients who are looking for lower launch, lower spin, but feels great. Okay, the uh, third shaft, which uh, has been you know really hot this year uh, at Modern Golf, has been the Fujikura Fuel. Um, this is Fujikura's first shaft designed with the uh, the technology that the guys have uh, at Fujikura called the Enso machine. Uh, the Enso is uh, basically you know it's, it's track man is an impact and, and post impact launch monitor. The Enso is is, is a pre impact monitor to give us results of what happens with the shafts, how does a golfer load the shaft, how does the shaft unload. Um, so, you know, unbelievable technology, great for us to work with and get some more knowledge, but uh, the fuel has been, has been excellent. A more tip stiff uh, shaft, it's a lower launching, lower spin shaft, a direct replacement to the very popular F1 Notori that a lot of guys played, Yanni Sen still plays it, Dustin Johnson played for a long time and is just moved into the fuel as well. So, you know, great shaft again for the guys who, in actual fact, don't need to spend an awful lot of money, but want the low launch, low spin. But pound for pound, this guy is loaded for, with technology. And pound for pound, probably the best shaft that, uh, that, that we would have uh, in Morocco. 